All right, here we go. I'm just gonna let it happen. Oh, crap. Okay, definitely a lot harder than anything else I've fought. Whoa! Holy crap, okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's not a good pass. See, this is why I probably should have planned this. <laughs>here and welcome back to the very satisfying satisfactory today we're dealing with oh god damn it, i forgot that that gives me fall damage that's all right we're pretty much full health uh but yeah today we're all about working on tier three in the last episode we unlocked the space elevator sent our first shipment up to space which has unlocked tier three uh which is something that's extremely exciting if we go to tier three here we now have coal power as well as our first vehicle now, I didn't notice this. It's actu It actually can be automated, so that tells me that we can make our energy automated. If you remember in the last episode, my one complaint was uh, being that I had to go out and manually collect plant matter. So now it sounds like moving over to coal, we can actually automate the process, and that's what we're going to be working on today. So right now, we need 1,500 wire. Be that reminds me, we should probably bring our copper conveyor belt back to our system. We need 25 rotors and 25, it looks like, uh, reinforced metals, which we should hopefully have a lot of because that's what we built in the last episode. Let me turn on my light. Sorry about that, guys. But yes, we are producing reinforced metal through this system, which we already have 62 of. So perfect. There's one thing done. We actually might have the copper needed already, which is, oh yeah, we actually do. But I do want to consistently gain copper, obviously. Actually, is it still using the copper that was in the system? So at the start of last episode, I uh, stopped bringing the raw copper over to here, and it looks like, yes, we still have 33 ingots in the system. So that thing never stalled. That's actually hilarious. So now we can reconnect this. I guess we could actually put a splitter on it and maybe have... Well, we don't need copper going into the space base, but we could definitely put a splitter and have half it going into the space base and half of it going into our system because clearly we don't need it all. Uh, we are constantly overproducing this, but we'll deal with this later because I really don't know what we're supposed to put in the space base and send up there. I'm assuming it will tell us later on. All right, and now we are producing wire once again. There we go. Where are they going? Oh, this just didn't show up. All right, cool. But yes, that should be going back in, and by the time we use all that, all those uh, copper ingots, this thing will be producing more, and we'll be back fully producing wire consistently. Okay, so for our materials here, we're going to need to steal some iron from our thing. Thankfully, we're overproducing it, so no big deal. And, yeah, we should be able to build these rotors pretty quickly. Just need a lot of iron rods and a lot of screws. All right. That was pretty damn easy. Got to be honest. This is kind of nice. I like automation, man. It's fun. Now, oh, crap. We didn't bring the uh, crazy amount of wire that we need, so we'll have to come back to this. All right, now we should hopefully have everything. Throw the copper wire down, and I'm so excited. Our first vehicle. Hopefully, it's not too hard to make. There we go. We have made coal Milestone power. Reached. Low yeah. range okay, so we got tractors and truck stations. So from what I understand, the tractors will be automated to go to one resource and bring their loot back to the truck station, which is where we'll grab the resource and do what we need to do. So obviously we need the truck station first. So it looks like we're going to get into some pretty interesting stuff here. Modular frames, again, rotors, and again, cables. And uh, again, we really could build a lot more processes to automate all of this, but... Being that we're going to lose all our, our progress anyways, for what I want to do, which is just unlock this stuff, uh, we're not going to build assembly lines for it just yet. So we're going to add this to the to-do list, which I love that they added this, by the way. Gives you a good visual representation of what you need. Now, I've never built a modular frame. What do we need for that? More rods. Lots and lots of rods, it feels like, in this game. All right, so that's fine. We can actually build quite a few right now, so let's just do this real quick. And look at that, 11 modular frames. We only need 10, so that's done already. Then all we need is one rotor and 10 cables. That's nothing. Right mouse button, add to do to-do list. Again, oh, actually, we need beacons. Did we unlock the beacons yet? Because I know it was part of the tier list here. Let me see. Ah, oh, pod. I'm still waiting on the pod to return. Okay, we can still view it, though. All right, the more you look at this, the more you uh, learn. Okay, it's probably in tier one because it's pretty basic. Here it is. So, man, 
We, there must be a glitch. I think you're supposed to go all the way through tier one to get to th tier two, but for some reason it was unlocked for me. Uh, but yeah, we need this beacon that I haven't unlocked yet, so that means we gotta make more metal rods. Yay! All right, so I think we build the beacons over here. Yes, we also got an object scanner now. What is that gonna take? Wow, beacons, more beacons. Okay, beacons for days, man. Ah, oh, beacons are actually gonna be quite complex to make. Now, not hard to make, but just a little bit complex. We're gonna need to get some iron plating. Uh, and then obviously, keep building our iron rods. We seem to be good at that. Benefit being, we're manufacturing iron plates, so we won't need to worry about that. They should have an abundance in this machine here. So yes, there we go. We'll take 100 out because uh, the screws are the bottleneck in that system. And then all we need is to build some more rods. It seems to be what we're doing mostly today now. We can steal it out of that and uh, yeah, get back to building some rods so we can make some beacons. Now we may as well try and make this object scanner. No idea what this thing is, but uh, I'm assuming we can hold it. And it kind of works like my weapon here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Scanning for power slugs. Doesn't work like this thing. I'm assuming it, oh, I saw the little, no, that was probably from my scan, right? Yeah, that was from my scan. Um, oh, is it kind of like a metal detector? Okay, it's going faster. So yeah, it's very much like metal detecting, I think. Now, I know it's very dangerous over here. I can try and get around these guys, maybe? I really want the jackpack so I can go down there, but uh, judging that it's not in tier three, I don't think we're gonna get it in the, this version of the game. All right, sorry, dude. I'm, I'm sorry I'm close to you. So yes, I don't know much about the power slugs anyways. I have collected a few of them, but I haven't been able to use them. I should mention, by the way, because I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me, why I'm not researching items. So if we go, where the hell am I? I'm so lost. But yeah, if we go over to my research station here, or whatever it's called, uh, the ham as it's called, if I select any of these, I checked out something and uh, I earned one of these blueprints. But if I click any of these, my game crashes and I can't save the game before that. So I'm basically totally unable to use this ma'am machine, which really sucks because I did want to do a lot of this blueprint scanning. It looks really fun and I did do a little bit of it. Uh, but yes, yeah, it's totally broken for me in the current version of the game, which is why you're not seeing any of it. All right, so we'll figure out the scanner later. That's not our goal anyways. Let's get this tractor done. So we need, well, actually, okay, we, we have 12 beacons already. Uh, we just need a couple modular frames and some rotors. Simple enough. All right, and it's tractor time. So I guess we'll go spawn this by its station. I think you can spawn it anywhere, though. Um, vehicles, tractor. Oh, you can actually choose how many you want. And yeah, we can just put it wherever we want. So I'm assuming, can we drive it? Oh, this is so cool. Okay, we have a vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shoot! Okay, physics might not be there. Oh, God. So, yeah, early version of this game, guys. Open the workbench. So, I'm just thinking that I'm not actually supposed to... Oh, actually, it said I could drive. Hold on. E to drive! Holy crap! It doesn't have any gas in it. Okay, we gotta put gas in it first. Oh, yes, there we go. Okay, so I can feel it with whatever I want. And Oh, shh. No! Okay. The physics for the vehicles are interesting, to say the least. Let's, let's actually just use the... I just don't want to break it. I really... Okay, drive. Holy crap. I have a vehicle. It's not a very fast one, and I don't think it's really made for exploration. Mind you, it's probably a little bit faster than walking, but yeah, this, this is basically a transport truck, if you will. So let's figure out how we can automate this thing, because that's really what I'm interested in. Oh, we actually have to record a path. Interesting. So I don't know how to do that, though. We got, we're going to have to figure this out. Uh, but yeah, it sounds like we record a path to where we want it to go, and then it just does it for us. All right, so you know what? Maybe we need a, a second station so we it knows it can record. So I'm thinking if we go to the coal, which I haven't scanned yet. Where, is there a close one? Okay, over there. 233 meters. That's not bad. But if we set up a station over there... Okay, yeah, I don't think we're gonna get that one. It doesn't look like there's an easy way up. It's basically a giant mountain. There's no, I mean, there's a land bridge here. So if there's a way up on the other side of this, then we might be able to do it. Gotta remember, I need to get up with a tractor too. Yeah, there's definitely no way up here. All right, that's too bad. We'll have to head back home and find a new one. 620 meters this way. That is really far, but that's the whole goal, right? We, we got to get it from a far distance, and that sounds like it like, could be miles away. That was a, lo a long beep. 
Yeah, I think I'll go to the 600 meter one. It's actually not extremely far. We got some nice flat ground here. So it should be okay to get it here. Uh-oh. Uh. Well, what? There it is! Oh, man. Really? Are you serious? Is there a way to get on this... What looks to be a floating freaking island? Okay, I don't think any of this is going to be easy now. Um, oh god, we got so many bad guys down there. Yeah, I think that's a total f floating island. So, I wonder if it wants me to build a platform over to it. Okay, oh, actually, yeah, we can just rotate it. So that's easy enough. We're just going to start building. I mean, I feel like I'm playing freaking Fortnite right now, guys. This is crazy. I mean, I guess we could have built a ramp up to the closer one. But I kind of like the fact that we can probably explore this part of the map. And the question is, can we put a foundation on the edge of this? What the hell? So I'm going to actually have to go down there and build upwards, I think. Question is, can I get over there without, like... I mean, I guess I guess I could build a pad and jump down. This is a huge process, though. All right, slow and steady. As you can see, we actually had quite a bit... Well, we didn't have a lot of cement or whatever this stuff is. I'm actually amazed we were able to build all this, but I've been trying to not overuse it, so I'm taking away all these foundations that I need to do this. But I seem to have this kind of going quite well. We are getting nice and close. We could probably jump down right now. There are some predator. Oh. Oh, Jesus! Okay. Okay, yeah. I've dealt with those guys before. The fire spitters are just the worst. So we're definitely going to want to go down there and fight them. But I'd like a way up before I go down there, obviously. So yeah, the best way I figured out on how to do this is go to the side here, build a platform underneath, build a platform on that. Then we can delete this one because that we just needed that view over there. We really need the jetpack is what we really need. And then we can simply build a foundation on this and then build a, a, a more ramp down. All right, here we go. I'm just going to let it happen. Oh, crap. Okay, definitely a lot harder than anything else I've fought. This guy is evil. I just got to take the hits. There we go. Oh, crap. There's another one. Okay. All right. Where is he? I hear him. Oh, what was that? Oh, that is him. Okay. Well, that's convenient. There we go. There we go. Yes. Stay behind him. Try and stay behind. God, you are horrifying looking. Oh, God. Don't knock me off the map. That would be bad. Okay. That one wasn't as bad. We only got hit a couple times. Let me just make sure this is obviously coal, right? Yeah, we got pure coal over here. So now all we need to do is complete our giant runway here. Okay, this is exciting, man. I, ca I can't believe I had enough with me to actually do this. So we might actually be able to build our miner before we go back. If we don't, no big deal. We'll just have to get some re more resources and bring it back with us. All right, but there we go. We have hit rock. That means we got a perfect bridge going down. Let's take these organs as well. We can research those later. And hopefully I didn't actually look. Do I have enough to do a miner at least? Oh, crap, I forgot I need one of the robots. All right, and now that we got the resources, we may as well bring the tractor down to where we're going. So it was probably that node down here. Ah, enable autopilot, hide pass. We're going to cancel that. So that's how we do it, though. Uh, that's cool. Um, clear path. We're just going to clear the path right now. Now I figured it out. We don't actually need the second station. But we're going to need it anyway, so let's start heading over there. I actually don't know where it was, which is why I wanted to scan. But then I figured out what that thing is. So, once again, it should be right ahead of us somewhere. I think we should be okay. It might not be the straightest path, but we should be able to record something through this. Now, I'm destroying all the plants and everything the more I hit this stuff. And this thing uses lots of gas, so we really probably need to power this thing by coal, too. But look at this. This is so freaking cool. So yeah, now we basically got to set it up a whole new base. Oh, I hope there's no damage down here. First things first, we'll get a miner on this. And do we want to bring it out that way? Which way are we? Oh, we're going to be tight for space anywhere here. So yeah, we'll bring it out this way. And hopefully we don't run into issues. Actually, technically, this is already uh, refined, right? I mean, all we need is coal to build whatever we're building with the coal, I'm assuming. We actually haven't put down the uh, new coal generator. But I'm assuming it just turns coal into power. So I don't think we need anything else. We don't need smelters or anything. We just need the tractor station. Or sorry, is it a tractor? Is it, is it, oh, it's the truck station, but it is a tractor. So there we go. We actually have enough, assuming we can finish up this conveyor belt. So let's bring this over here. And that goes to the inn. 
Now, obviously, we can put two down if we need a lot of uh, coal. We definitely, I think we have enough. Oh, actually, maybe not. I think there was another coal area down here, though, if I do remember correctly. Huh, maybe, maybe there isn't. Interesting. Well, maybe we can fit two on there if we move that one a bit. I doubt it, though. But yeah, there is uh, inputs for two here. And being that this isn't our home base, we should probably put one of these beacons down. Oh, whoa. That's, that's freaking fancy, man. So, oh, it's beeping. That's going to be annoying. But yes, now we'll know exactly where we need to go. Okay, so I do have fuel. I'm thinking we might want to put some fuel in this, though, because we're getting low. So I just got to drop something. i to drop just a little bit of wood. I can always grab it later if we do need it. And I'm going to take this 32 out so we have almost 100 inside our coal refinery. And put 64 in there so we should be able to get back to hopefully get some more fuel. But like I said... We should be moving over to coal now, so this is exciting. Let's power up this sucker and make sure everything is good. It's moving and shaking. That's good. That means this thing should be, yes, starting to drill. And we should be extracting coal now. This is exciting, man. This is the one thing I was complaining about, is the energy. And now we got coal coming through. Now, I have no idea of the storage in this thing. It doesn't actually... Uh, I, okay, it does have just a big storage in the middle. So... We gotta tell it to load, and I'm assuming if we drive over it, it should be automated. I'm thinking that's how it works. So we'll give it a little bit of a chance to fill up here a little bit. And then, yeah, we should be able to transfer over, I'm assuming, a lot of coal, because we have a lot of room in this thing, too. Okay, so now if we bring this over, it looks like it's all good. Uh, God, we're really close to the uh, elevator, though, so hopefully we don't run into issues there. Now, is it storing it in this? I think we're okay now. Oh, we're still waiting. Okay, so it's obviously gonna be slow because we can only bring out so much coal. I guess we could try and train this thing now. I, I don't know, like the thing I, I want it to do is to wait here until it's basically full, but choose a uh, record action, enable autopilot. What happens when we enable autopilot? He doesn't move at all. So I'm assuming once we record something, it will do that. So let's start recording, and we're just going to bring this thing back home. <gasps> Whoa! Holy crap! Okay. Um, yeah, that's that's not a good pass. See, this is why I probably should have planned this. <laughs> out. Well, at least we know it's working. You can see all the record marks. That was really close to me losing my freaking tractor, as well as my life. Okay. So, so far, so good. We already planned this out, too, so I don't have to go around the space station. Actually made a pretty good path. Now, I'm assuming we might not need to go back because it's got the path already, so it's going to just follow it backwards, I'm thinking. But, yeah, now, basically, we can tell it to unload at this station. Oh, there we go. And we're going to turn... Finish recording. There we go. Let there be power, and I just overrided the system. Great. The power issues are real right now. It's just over it, too. Uh, do we want to throw something else on the system? That's the question. You know what? For now, because we're going to be changing all of these, again, temporary, but we're going to throw another biomass burner here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on? Okay, I turned autopilot on. <laughs> Odd. Okay. Either I'm doing this totally wrong, or this might need a little bit of work. Do I have to do, like, a loop around so it doesn't, like, run into things? Because it's trying... I'm What I'm thinking it's doing is trying to turn around, and obviously it's hitting the, uh, myself as well as the, uh, truck station. So if we, t so if we just drive this for a second, is it going to do its thing? So it is going to go back. Let's see if this at least... What the... F now you're working?! Okay, well, that's the important part. It's working. That, that, that's good. Let's see if that thing can make it back. What are you doing? What are you do- The path is over here! Okay. I don't know what is going on, but I feel like this- I mean, it can't be me, right? I did the path. I set it up. The moment this thing moves is when it started unloading it. And now it's running into my space station, which isn't part of the path at all, so... Is autopilot totally different from the pathing? Why are you going this way? Is, is it just going a straight line? Is that all it does? I'm so confused! I set up a path and everything! Stop it! Stop it! Stop running into the space station! Does it just beeline it there and, like, ignore the path? What are you doing? What the frig are you doing? 
Okay, it's back on its path at least, so I think I might have to do a full loop around. No, it's doing it. Okay, so it goes to the end, and then I think it resets itself. So I'm going to try something. I, I'm committed to this, man. We're going to uh, start recording from here, I guess. And we're just basically going to do a full run. So hopefully when it's on a loop, it should be good. I'm going to actually let this thing unload, though. Okay, so I recorded a full route back to front. Now we're going to try and loop this so it doesn't try and turn around because we know what happens then. So yeah, we'll just go around it like this, and I'm feeling good about this. This should hopefully be a full run. Both things are automated too, so you can see it's picking it up. And we are going to finish recording. I think it's fully unloaded. It only had a little bit over there. So we're going to enable autopilot, and please God, just, just do it. Why you, did I enable it? Maybe it takes a second to move because I took a second to move. I don't know. We'll just wait a bit and see what happens. There it goes. Okay, so yes, it does seem to record how long I stopped too. So obviously when you do set this up, it's going full throttle though. I was not going full throttle. Uh, but when you do set that up, you obviously want to give it time to actually collect stuff too. I think I only gave it time to collect one load. So that's fine. Now, I was going to check it from my uh, watchtower here. Because I think we got it now, assuming I made a good path for it. So, let's see if we can see it in the distance here. Uh, oh, I see it. It's kind of lagging, actually, but it's definitely going through the woods. And <laughs> there, it's gone. Well, now we wait and see if it comes all the way back. I was too impatient. I wanted to have a quick peek to see if it was able to do this part. Because this is obviously going to be the hardest part. There's really no room for error, and I don't know how accurate it is. It is over there. It's sitting down. That means it should be coming back. Uh, so it was able to successfully turn around. That's exciting. All right. Now we just got to wait again. I want to see this thing do a full loop, man. And look at that. Holy crap. I did it. I didn't go as smoothly as I hoped for, but I think I pretty much figured it out. So now this is extremely important because we have automated coal running. So it should turn around. Uh, the factory should pick up some of it, and it should continuously do that run until it runs out of fuel. And there we go. It's working perfectly now. Okay. So, a little bit of troubleshooting. We got it, though. Next step is to obviously build a coal factory off of that so we can get rid of the craziness that our plant factories are doing right now and hopefully make energy a lot easier. So, yes, that's pretty much it for the... Uh, as it's called the main alpha weekend of this game. We got to the end, we got the uh, tractor, and we were able to set it up. So I think we're gonna wrap up this here. Now, like I said, this is coming out on the 19th, and we're going to be doing a full playthrough of the full game, where I think four new tiers are unlocked, so I'm extremely excited for that. I hope you guys are enjoying this as well. Uh, if you wanna know anything more about the game, as always, link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.